Dom is currently helping to fit out a new Go Outdoors that's opening at Fox Valley Shopping Centre in Stocksbridge. Uh, I don't know when it's opening, but they're there kitting it out now, so I'm gonna go pick them up. I'm gonna go to Back Tour in the Peak District to hopefully catch a nice sunset. It's a good opportunity to test out the OEX Ultralight uh, camping chair. Back Tour is a big hill and I don't want to carry heavy stuff up a big hill and this is super light. Obviously on the way back it's going to be dark so we will also be taking um, a couple of pieces of OEX kit to help us light the way back, both of which are USB rechargeable so I've made sure they've got some juice and yeah, let's go grab Dom. Yo, you. yo. How are we doing? Good, you? Yeah, I'm good, you ready? Yeah, good. Um. You ready to find a sunset, Matthew? <laughs> it's looking so, a bit cloudy, but... Yeah, I mean, we've been watching the forecast, haven't we? Because we're trying to find a good sunset and we think we're going to have a bit of a break in the cloud today uh, about seven about 20 past seven when the sun goes down i think i found a good spot as well uh, it's on derwent edge and it's a uh, back tour we'll be looking uh, to the west because that's where the sun sets <laughs> and yeah we'll be able to hopefully we'll get a really good view of the sunset um and we'll still have a bit of a chill out when we're there i think yeah. it's just a nice i think the idea is just to have a nice quick adventure yeah, like yeah. a short adventure we've come here after work the chair yeah i've had okay. this i've had one of these chairs for a while now and it's the oex ultralight chair and it's perfect for doing stuff like this because it's so lightweight yeah and it's so compact it's not but it's not doesn't put you off having it on your bag at all like no extra weight or anything i've got two in i've got one in the bag and one on the outside okay so okay. <laughs> then yeah. the, the weight's nothing for, for for where we're going i think they're like 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.2 kilograms each so okay they're not heavy and they're going to give us so much more comfort when we're up there yeah So this is, Matt, you've got the new one. <laughs> so this one hasn't one. been used before, but I got on well with, so I got, I get on w with mine so much. You're gonna love this. Okay. It's all elasticated, so it all just sticks together nicely. Nice. So there's nothing to get wrong with it basically at all. Good. <laughs> I often get things wrong. We just won the OEX logo at the top of the seat. Like that. 
I've actually reinforced those bits now as well, which looks good. And then we've got watching out for the, <laughs> the sheep poo. We've got this nice little spreading pad nice. that makes sure you don't sink into the ground. And just keeps it little bit. How's that? Yeah, it's nice. It's better than those small little stalls that yeah. like sort of yeah, yeah. constantly, yeah, just so much more comfortable. Oh yeah, that's great. Sitting that for hours. So I've had this chair for like four years. Okay. And I've used it for wild camping, I've used it for day walks, just everything mate. Because you can just, it's yeah. just so much more comfortable. Yeah. Like when you've got, if you've got to sit down for more than sort of 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, buzzing. That's it mate. Nice bucket seat, leaning back. That's awesome. <laughs> well we found it now we couldn't find the uh the beams that in before but yeah so we were we were messing around with it but because it was dark we couldn't see what to do but now i've just found this twist function where you can change the focus of the beam and it's quite fun to do because it's quite tactile can you hear can you hear the clicking okay yeah that's that's really cool okay, yeah. that's pretty far yeah i think so this is this is the widest the beam goes so it's the shortest distance and then as you move in you can go further on a spotlight I'm well impressed with that little adventure. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was going to be good, but actually it was, I think it was even better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. The walk up was good because it was that sort of, that great light that yeah. you get just before a sunset. Yep. And there were some cool clouds and it's a nice short walk so it wasn't too taxing. Yep. Yeah, no, that was good. It was nice and relaxing as well. There's not been many walks recently where I've gone out and I've just sat down for like yeah. an hour yeah. 
I like to be able to sit down and watch something happen. Yeah. I think in this case it was a good sunset. It, was nice. it wasn't the best sunset because the clouds were, a, it didn't reach the horizon. No. But it was still nice and it was still a super peaceful area and it was easily accessible. Super nice. Heard some birds that we don't know what they were. They sounded <laughs> funny, but they might be grouse, might be pheasants. We don't yes. know. Neither of us are ornithologists, so that's the right word, no. right? They were birds. Okay. We think, well, <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure <laughs> they, we were birds. they were birds. Yeah. We heard, Pretty yeah. sure they were birds. So what about the sunset? So I want to give the sunset a bit of a score out of 10. Scoring it relative to every sunset that I've seen in my life. Like, yeah. is, that, is that what I'm scoring it against? Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Because we're setting a benchmark here, so next time we're going to try and get a better sunset. So a what's five. the... It's a, I was going to go five. Yeah. I think there was some good colour in the sky. Yeah. There was some pinks and uh, some pinks and oranges. There was that afterglow after the sunset that sort of radiated the sky a bit. So it definitely was a good sunset, but we can do a lot better. Yes. And I think we'll do better next time. We'll yes. find, we'll get a lot the better. The area sky. was amazing. The spot that you picked yes. was very nice. Yeah, it was a perfect spot for it. And I think even ha like just having those chairs oh, allowed yeah. us yeah, to, yeah, to yeah. sit and properly yeah. enjoy. Well impressed. I was like, how how... <laughs> How comfy can this chair be if it fits in a bag like that small? But yeah, well impressed. Sat in it for over an hour and yeah, could have stayed there all night. It was, yeah. Yeah. And and for how light it is, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I actually really enjoyed the walk down as well. Yeah, yeah. Like walking down in the dark. With, I don't, with, uh, I don't remember the last time I went on like a night walk. No, exactly. And it was, yeah. yeah, it was nice. It was so quiet, so peaceful. Yeah, some good views as well. Yeah, on the way down, seeing Sheffield, yeah, like yeah. all lit up, yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah, it was lovely. That was almost as good as seeing yeah. the sunset for me, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. It's a good walk. Yeah. What time is it? Yeah, it's nearly 10 o'clock. Yeah, I, sp I suppose that's the other thing, just to bear in mind with stuff like this, is that you are going to be finishing late. Yeah. But I think, I mean, what would I, I would have just been sat watching TV. Yeah. To say, like, you're doing something different, something out there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I it was great. Good. It was great. And it's any excuse to get out and... Uh, sit in nature for an hour or two i'll take that so we're going to do it again yeah for sure next time watch this place <laughs> i'm going we i think it needs to be a seven out of ten next time let's hope the clouds play ball next they time. will yeah yeah good, good. let's go home